Rest up our remote. On February 3rd, 2021, at approximately 1.38 p.m., Las Cruces police officer Jay Herrera used his lights and siren and initiated a traffic stop on a white Chevrolet Tahoe, which he observed being operated erratically and at a high rate of speed. The vehicle was headed northbound on Solano Drive. What was that all about, man? Oh, my bad, sir. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like, really, dude? I'm right here, man. After detecting the odor of marijuana and observing that the front passenger appeared to be nervous, as well as finding that Orozco was armed with a knife, Officer Herrera requested a backup officer to his location. Officer Herrera then obtained Orozco's identification and returned to his unit to run Orozco for warrants. The officer learned that Orozco was wanted on a felony warrant for his arrest. Seven eight five, positive twenty nine. Seven Orozco, cut of uh, E's office. Uh -huh. Do you want me to confirm? Uh, well, yeah, but what is it for? Or bond or dangerous? It's for a failure to appear for a code 16. In possession of firearms. Extraditable nationwide. 5,000 secured bond. Also, uh, control substance and tampering with evidence. Ten four. What's the deal status? Suspended. Suspended only. ID card. Officer Herrera returned to place Orozco under arrest. Officer Herrera asked Orozco to shut off his vehicle, which he did, and advised Orozco to step out due to the warrant for his arrest. Officer Herrera began opening Orozco's door to take him into custody as Orozco simultaneously turned on his vehicle. Officer Herrera then attempted to prevent Orozco's escape. However, Orozco was able to place the vehicle into gear, at which time he began to drag Officer Herrera, who was partially inside the vehicle. Backup Officer M. Carrera perceived a deadly threat to Officer Herrera by being run over or rammed into a utility pole nearby. The officer discharged his firearm to stop Orozco. This is 48, dude. Hey, bro, do me a favor, turn off the car real quick. Okay, need for you to step out, brother. All right, then. Can I come up on the way? DA-1040-48. What happened? You have a warrant for your arrest, bud. Why? Let's step out of the
This is a view from Officer Carreta's body-worn camera. Is this your ride that you had just called right now? Uh, a black uh, escape? Uh, I don't or know. Or a Mazda? No, they have a Nissan. All right. Yeah, just go ahead and give them a call back and tell them not, not to worry about coming back over here. Okay. Hey, bro, do me a favor. Turn off the car real quick. Okay. Yeah, need for you to step out, brother. All right, then. D D A ten forty forty eight. You have a warrant for arrest, but Why? Let's step out real quick. These are still images from Officer Cadetta's body worn camera. Preliminary information from the investigation indicates that Joel Orozco fled the scene and abandoned the Chevy Tahoe nearby. He was located about one hour later hiding in a shed in the 1800 block of Sexton Street. The male front passenger was located, interviewed, and released soon after the incident. Unbeknownst to officers, a female seated behind Orozco at the time of the incident, who was not visible due to the illegally tinted windows on the vehicle, was struck by gunfire. The female was transported to an area hospital for treatment, and she was subsequently released. Officer Herrera was transported to an area hospital for treatment and remains on leave, recovering from injuries he sustained. This information is as of March 18, 2021. Orozco was charged with aggravated battery, deadly weapon, upon a peace officer, aggravated fleeing a law enforcement officer, receipt, transportation, or possession of a firearm by a felon, and resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer. The charges have been bound over to district court.